Hi there and welcome to the channel. Today we've got a HCA for creating unique textures using an instancer. So let me just play this little animation that I've got for you. So the idea behind this is these bricks are instanced, but we want to be able to texture them in a package, let's say like Substance Painter. We want to retain the power of the instancer, but have unique textures and projections set up for that. So let's dive into this then. Right, so we're in Houdini here. Let me give you a little breakdown of the scene and how it's been set up. So first of all, we've got a brick wall, which is a procedurally built brick wall made up of individual brick assets with no intersection. So if I dive into this and into the brick wall, you can see that this brick wall is made up of four different bricks. So we've got different damages from these guys, and we also have an end brick as well. And that's copied to a series of points, which build you this wall here. And all I'm doing is I'm running this through an RBD sim of a ball smashing through the bottom of it, just to show you how you might do something that's animated that you can use unique textures on. So now this simulation is now brought into the HDA node here. And I'll give you a rough run for of how this is working and how this is set up. So we bring in our simulation and I'm also bringing in the bricks themselves and I'm poly reducing them slightly so that they're a little bit lighter. And the idea behind this is you will want to bring this maybe into a texturing package and you don't necessarily need the highest resolution. You just need the UVs to be the same and you need maps to be baked that are similar. So what happens is this will go into, into this uh, instance detection node. You get out on the left-hand side, you'll get a point cloud, which will have two new attributes stored on it. You'll have a UV scale and a UV offset, and you'll be able to see this clearer on the preview out. So this would be what you would export out into, let's say, Substance Designer. And if I go to F5 to show the UVs, you can see that these bricks have now been packed from what they originally used to be of one tile. They've now been packed into UDIMs and scaled. And you can, you can change this using the UDIM division here. So at the moment it's on 22. But if I set this to something like 15, you can see that it packing it across two, three, four, five, six UDIMs now, seven UDIMs. So I want to keep this at the same thing. You can also change the color here. So if I go to here, you'll be able to see if I change this to 15 per se, you can see how it's been split up into UDIMs for each, each brick. So if I change back to 22. So what will happen is you can now export this. You can texture this. You can do whatever you want. You can export those textures. And the idea is that it will, these points will know about how they've been positioned and the UVs have been scaled uh, compared to this preview out. So if I go to here and I go uh, UV underscore start, you'll see that they, each of these points has a scaling and an offset attribute that will directly correspond to how they've been placed in this, uh, in this arrangement. So once you've textured this, let's say you've textured in Substance Designer or Substance Painter, if I jump into LOPS, I can show you my texture that I've created for this. So um, this is now bringing in the ground and bringing in the bricks as instances. So this will now build you the instancer and it will basically apply the material that we've created. So if I render this. And then here. Spin this around. You can see this now has unique textures per instance. And if we fast forward here, you can see the simulation works with the ball running for it. So let me dive into the shading quickly and I'll just show you. So what's happening is we are creating this UV offset, which will bring in the UVs themselves. It will then scale them and then it will add that offset that we're bringing in from each point. 
And that means that each brick will go into its UV space and then it will read the base color of and the UDIM and then assign the texture itself. So this will be super powerful for basically having the ability of unique textures, but the power of an instancer. So you can have super heavy bricks here. These each brick could be, I don't know, 10,000 10, polys. And you can have a whole whole line of them, 100, you know, 1,000 or whatever. You have the power and the speed of the instance, but you also have the ability to pull this into a texture package and to create, for instance, unique textures that you see here. So right, there's a link to the scene for you to download. So it'll be the scene, the HGA, and there's also these textures, which you'll be able to download yourself. So you'll be able to see exactly how it's been created and have a go for yourself. Once again, if you have any bugs or queries or you've got any problems with the HTA itself, um, drop a message down in the comments and I'll hopefully get back to respond to you. So yeah, download it, let me know what you think and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.